What's up mga ka-investa? Welcome to our How to Trade Crypto Bootcamp. So I'm Kahane, one of the mentors or educators here in this new course from Investagrams. And syempre this week, so we'll be tackling the basics first. So ayun, agenda muna natin for the week is an introduction to cryptocurrencies. And for today's video, we'll be talking about how you can create your centralized exchange account. So agenda natin will be what is a centralized exchange, how you can create your account, and what it would look like or how you can navigate through your account. So what is a centralized exchange? In a nutshell, a centralized exchange is a platform where you can buy or sell crypto using other crypto or fiat. So as a trader or investor who wants to get into the crypto markets, kailangan mo ng isang account na ganito. Why? Uh, because this is where you'll be exchanging your dollars, your pesos, or whatever currency you have into crypto like Bitcoin, USDT, uh, BUSD, and others. So, kailangan mo yung mga yun para makapag-trade ka ng cryptocurrencies. And, of course, when choosing a platform, you need to consider which one's the best for you. So, personally, uh, us mentors or us educators here at Investa University usually use Binance and parang heads up lang na uh, most of our samples will be using Binance as the platform we use given that it's, rel- it's relatively easy to use and mababa yung fees dito sa platform na to. So, if you want to create your own account, your own Binance account, we'll be sharing the link in the comments para makapag-register rin kayo. Pag gusto niyang gumawa ng account sa Binance, so madali lang naman siya. And if you follow the link that we sent, so mapupunta, mapupunta dapat kayo dito sa page na to, sa sign up page for Binance. So you just sign up with a phone or an email. Uh, it's up to you what uh, which one you want to use. Uh, for me, I'll use an email for this example. So, kahanape15 at yahoo.com. Then, of course, a password. Uh, make sure that the password is something you'll remember. And of course, something strong enough para safe yung ano mo, safe yung account mo. Alright, so ay, may guidelines yun sila. And yeah, so of course, you check the boxes that, boxes that apply to you. So there's a the terms of service and the privacy policy. And of course, may marketing updates from Binance if you want to receive them or not. So for me, I'll just leave it blank. Then create a personal account. So it will send an email uh, to your, well, to your email account. And then, kukunin mo lang yung code dun. And then, kakapipaste mo yung code na yun. Parang confirmation lang ya. Uh, confirmation lang ng Binance na ikaw talaga yung may-ari ng uh, email address na to. So, I'll just input my verification code. Ayan, email verified. And then, ayun. Uh, it's that easy to make an account. Uh, you also need to verify your, your account, which is, which involves a little bit of well, a, a little bit more steps. So, here, you'll be asked sa main residency mo. And yung pinakakailangan mo talaga is a government-issued ID. So, basically, uh, either a driver's license, a passport, or whatever. Uh, you're gonna use it. So, you're gonna input your details. And, of course, I won't be inputting mine for my own security. Since, of course, i release to the public yung... But then basically, you just input all of the info that you have on your IDs. And then, uh, you're gonna be asked to take a selfie with your uh, ID. Parang proof lang siya na you're really the person you're claiming to be. So, uh, yung selfie can be done with a webcam or pwede rin sa Binance app sa phone mo. So, after all of those, I'll show you what the Binance platform looks like para lang makita nyo. Alright, so pag nakagawa kayo ng Binance account nyo, so let me just show you what you'll be seeing sa platform nila. So sa Binance platform, uh, when you first log in, ito yung unang makikita. So yung wallet overview mo, how much BTC and fiat money you have. And then of course, since centralized exchange siya, this is where you can buy BTC, F, USDT for your money, for your uh, paper money. So, marami kang options 
uh, when doing transactions. So you can do P2P trading, which for me is really hassle-free. You just basically look for a seller of the coin you want and then pipili ka lang ng mode of payment that you prefer. So, so, so sobrang dali talaga niya. As in, you can use Gcash, you can use BPI, BDO, whatever traditional bank you have. And then, mabilis lang initially yung transactions. It finishes at around, in around like 5 minutes or so. Uh, but of course, if gusto mong instant talaga, you can buy crypto directly from Binance. So, you can use your credit or debit card to buy cryptocurrencies from Binance. And of course, may iba pang options to buy crypto here in this platform. So aside from buying crypto, so they also have a markets tab. And basically, parang overview lang siya ng buong crypto market. So nakalista dito lahat ng uh, cryptocurrencies and how they performed as well as kung liquid ba sila or rather anong itsure ng volume nila for the past so-and-so days or so-and-so hours. And then, of course, trading platform siya. So we can trade here. And just to show you, just to show you what it looks like. So this is what the spot trading uh, platform looks like here in Binance. So first glance, baka mukhang uh, medyo confusing siya. But then, really, madali lang siya gamitin. You just imagine, or sorry, it just really functions similar to how our traditional brokers work. So, sample lang is, let's say, gusto mong bumili ng USDT. So, input pa lang yung price na gusto mo for your order. And then, the amount you want. So, of course, uh, sample lang tong trade to, you wouldn't want to buy like, uh, I don't know, at the price of 100 USDT for 10 BTC. But, sample lang siya. Ayan. So, price, amount, then you just buy it. Or, of course, you can choose to short sell here since short selling is allowed in the crypto in the crypto market. So, you just input your orders and mag execute sila. And, of course, may kita mo yung orders mo dito sa baba. Sa open orders, sa trade history. And, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for spot. Uh, for margin, it's the same page actually. So, with margin, you just need to answer a quiz just to make sure that you're someone who's eligible for leverage since not everyone can handle the increased risk. So, sasagutin mo lang siya. And then, basically, you can start using leverage. So, that's pretty much it for uh, spot trading in Binance. And then, derivatives. So, if di ka content sa leverage available available with spot trading so we can move on towards derivatives so sa derivatives naman uh yung pinaka pro nito uh, nito or yung pinaka advantage to with trading derivatives is that malaking leverage dito so it reaches all the way up to 50 times and 100 times kung nakakita kayo minsan ng sobrang laking gain sa social media sometimes it's cuz uh, galing siya sa derivatives market kasi gumagamit sila ng mga 20 times or 50 times na leverage for their trades. So, ayun. Uh, again, this is for traders who are more advanced, who already have solid risk management protocols. So much so that they can uh, they can just tank through the increased risks in the derivatives market. So, that's for the derivatives tab. And then, yung maganda sa Binance is they also have uh, earning sorry, they also have earning features for you. So what I mean by this is they make it easier for us to stake our crypto or to access, access liquidity pools. So in a nutshell, in, uh, yung pinaka just niya is that we can earn a passive income through cryptocurrencies. And then finance. So fun fact, pwede ka mangutang kay Binance. You can get loans and you can get crypto assets as yung loan mo. So, makukuha mo yan kay Binance. And then, NFTs, uh, institutional. So, that's pretty much it for what's inside the Binance platform. So, that's it for today's lesson. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot. And for those who are just tuning in to our crypto trading bootcamp for the first time and would like to enroll, Here's three easy steps so you can enroll for free. 
Step one is to create an Investagrams account. You will need an account on Investa to access the quizzes and our exclusive group. Step number two is to join our exclusive Investa group on the platform. This is a place where you can ask questions directly to our educators and receive instructions for quizzes and activities. Step number three, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our official Facebook page. All recorded videos of our lessons and important announcements will be posted on these channels.